Okay, taking a look at the incubator, which everyone is able to enjoy in our store because we moved them up front finally. So everybody's seeing all the baby snakes hatch. We have baby Madagascar giant hog noses hatching. Those are for a different video. But I also just noticed in here, we have another clutch from Daisy and Buck. We have baby rat snakes hatching. Oh my gosh, there's, there's a scaleless already out. There's a scaleless already out. Right there, that's a scaleless baby. Alrighty, well, since there's already several out, that means they pipped more than 24 hours ago, which means we have to cut the rest of these eggs. Ed's with us now. So, we have a cameraman. I am here. And we are going to cut the remaining eggs and check out babies. Aww. Oh, there's two scaleless out. Look at oh. those little scaleless boobers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so with this pairing, it's a similar pairing to the other rat coins that recently hatched. Each baby has a 50% chance of being scaleless. Scaleless. That and one was an over. Oh, you're still in there. Sorry. Oh, so he just poked the baby. <laughs> Don't poke the baby. Oh, look at that scaleless go. Oh, you still rattling. Oh, oh, cute. Look at you. You're a cute little scaleless. He's like a kind of scaleless. He has a bunch of teeny tiny little scales on his side. Oh, it's like you have lice. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of little lice scales. Oh, Yo, you're so cute. Oh, he's got like a crown of scales across his eyes. <laughs> he's wearing a tiara. Yeah, oh, he is. <laughs> Are you a little tiara? You're a fancy scaleless snake. Yeah. Oh, so fancy. Oh, we have a lot of good looking scaled babies. These are nice big babies. Yeah, they are. Usually we get teeny babies from these guys. Yeah, these this guys is. These probably handle pinkies by themselves right probably. now. Probably, yeah. These look awesome. This is great. Look at your little W on your head. Oh, don't take don't off. Look at my head. Look, he's got a W on his head. Or is it an M? You decide. Oh, and then here's the other scale list that's out. Look at you. Oh, you're really pretty too. This one has like cool out. So I have the two scale lists out right here. This one has cool outlines around his blotches. Oh, wow. All right. Well, we are going, how many, yeah, how many? I will things? grab the bowl. Oh, we're already yeah. gonna need this. Yeah, they're just gonna go everywhere. Yeah. Hopefully we're not too late for some of the babies that haven't hatched. Here you go, guys. Oh, I bet we're fine. I don't think they're gonna stay in this bowl. Well, you gotta flip it upside down. Oh, that's what we're doing? Yeah. How can I corral that many baby snakes and flip a bowl? Let me get a, a second bowl. bowl. Okay. So demanding. So yes, if you do rent the party room here, we might have put baby snakes in, a, in one yeah, of your popcorn bowls. That's great to advertise. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay. Oh no, they're coming out the other side. Yeah, see this? Go get a container. Wait, why are you using bowls? <laughs> because the bowls are here. Okay, I will go get a timeout container. You watch the babies. You just had to be right, huh? I did. Look, they're all in that bowl. We didn't need your timeout container. You just struggled for like tw all, 20 minutes to oh, get them all like in there. It was like a minute and a half. <laughs> it was a struggle to get the babies in it there to prove me wrong. Bad. Okay, well, your babies. And now they're in there. Yeah, okay. Good job, you were right. Yep. Okay, point has been taken. Now it's time to cut the remaining eggs. Let's see, who has pipped but just hasn't come out yet? Is that you? Let's see, this was our summer clutch. That's right, we did a summer clutch. We have a baby in here. Are you scaled or scaleless? Uh, oh, I think you're scaleless. I think scaleless. Yeah. Is it healthy? Are you okay? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Yep, flinching away. Okay, just not ready to come out yet. Okay. Yeah, that's Egg's gone, that egg's gone. Empty. Uh, empty? Um, empty, yep. yep. Uh, this one is not empty. Okay, we'll cut the watermelon egg first. Okay, that's clear-ish. Hmm. Okay, watermelon egg is hopefully a healthy baby. <gasps> oh, what is that? Is that the side of a really nice scaleless? Maybe. Or poke, poke. Oh, it's alive, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a scaleless, but... I don't see like any noticeable part of the snake other than what could be the side. That'll be an interesting one to come out. Yeah. How about the palm tree egg? What's inside? I have a feeling this one's gonna be scaled. What do you think? I'm gonna go scaleless. Scaleless another? I think the scaleless tend to take longer to come out. They do, don't they? It's cool to see though that they can still hatch on their own. Yeah. We had a couple come out completely. Three, two, one. You are another scaleless. You were right. Poke test? Oh yes, we look healthy. Good, so we're not too late for these eggs. That's nope. great. I always worry when I see several snakes out when I first notice them. How about the summer hat baby? This one I bet will be another scaleless. I'm gonna go with scaled. Okay, summer hat baby is scaleless. Oh, yep. Wow, That's man. A good looking one. Yeah, poke test. Oh wow, oh, yeah. I felt him move on my fingers below. <laughs> you are definitely healthy. Okay, you're good. Let's see, who is in the flamingo? Are you, oh, you're still in there. Yep, that's the one I poked. Oh, that's right. 
I'm sorry you had a rude welcome to the world, dude. Ed poking you in the face. Here, you are a... Another scaleless, you're right. Wow, that one looks like it has some cool spots too. All right, we'll see what that one is when it comes oh, out. Empty. This one, are you sure? Oh, oh there's oh. totally a baby. Oh, there's an eye. There's an eyeball right there looking at you. Do you see him? No, it's too dark. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, his face is right there. That's another scaleless though. Wow. Oh, scaleless, 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 scaleless. Man, okay, that one's empty, that one's empty. That's a scale list. Man, so we have five scaleless and eggs right now? That one's empty, so that we have, empty? uh, no. Oh, this one's discolored. Yeah, that's... This egg, I think, went bad. Is it hard? Uh, it doesn't feel taut like a balloon. Oh, but it cut, so it might... Oh, it smells bad, though. Let's, uh, do poke test. I'm gonna open it up a bit. Man, but it cut the egg, that's weird. Poke test, poke, poke, poke. Yeah, I don't see anything going on. And with that smell, I do not think there is a good baby in there. Should we open it up quick? Sure. Okay, now I'm curious. Where Unless he... you want to leave it open, leave it for one more day. Uh, I don't think it's alive. Okay. It smells really bad and it's not moving at all. So, and that color of the of the fluid is not a good color. So all signs point to not a good baby. Where did it would have cut then? Yeah, that is odd. Okay, so it was a scaleless. Definitely not alive. Wow, that's a long baby. Were there two in here? Did we have twins that didn't make it? Oh, I think we did. Oh, oh no. Nope. It's a long baby. Wow, just one really big baby. Holy ma holy moly, that is, that was huge. Okay, that's sad though. He cut the egg and then did not come out. Huh, weird. Well, that does happen sometimes, so yeah. this Oof. is... Survival of the fittest. Ooh, I'm gonna stanky. I'm gonna rinse this all off and then we'll come back. Okay, with that behind us, we have one, two, did you cut? That one's already out. We only have two eggs left. Oh, nice. Which one should we do first? This bottle of suntan lotion or the boat? Mm, that one's bigger, so let's do boat. Okay, sounds good. We'll save the big one for last. What is inside the boat egg? I'm guessing this one's gotta be, gotta be scaled. Mm, I'm gonna go scaleless. Maybe all the scaleless hatch after the scaled. That'd be really interesting. It's like, moving. I like how you're whispering. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret, it's I a wonder. Se it's a new secret. Three, two, one. Oh, scaleless. That's a scaleless. You might be onto something. Poke, poke. Oh, okay, yeah. we're healthy. Yeah, okay. you felt her moving yeah. while you were cutting. I so. did, yeah. So I knew that one was okay. All right, the last egg. Do you think it's another scaleless? Let's see. What where are we at? One, two, three, four, six. Oh, there's two in here. Yes. Eight. Okay, so we're at eight scaleless out of uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. Oh, that's 50 50. 17, but that one 17. Was scaleless too. Yeah, it was. So we're at 50 50. So yeah, maybe this is another scaleless, and all the scale just came out first. Which is weird because you'd think they'd come out second because the scaleless have to. Scaled have to develop scales. That's true, so you'd think they'd take longer to develop. Do you think maybe they have a better egg tooth? They could. Okay, suntan lotion baby is a scaleless. Oh. Wow, yeah, so the scaleless just all stick around in their eggs longer than the scaled. Interesting. That is really interesting. Poke test, are you healthy? Poke, poke, yeah, we're flinching. Okay, so it's not like they're unhealthy. I mean, the one passed away, but that's gonna happen in any clutch. So it's just they take their time. Yeah. That's really interesting. Okay, so now it is time to release oh, look the, at the babies. Bowl full of noodles. Oh, you're right. It is a bowl <laughs> full of noodles. <laughs> okay, here they go. Release my pretties. Encourage your siblings to come out of the eggs and we will check back in another day. All right, babies. Oh my gosh, they're on oh, the sides. Right here. Yep, wow. Right there. How did oh, they escape out there? I forgot these iris bins. Some snakes figure out a way to get in is under the no, lid. Is there no way to get out from there? No, they can't get out out because oh. the, the, the handle covers it, but they can still sneak into that little gap area. All right. Yep. So How about you get your little butt back in with your siblings. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, you too. Oh. This is where you belong right now. Oh. Okay, now, baby. Cute babies! Oh my gosh, look at it up, look at it up, look at it up! Wow, okay, let what's me take this all here? in. Right here, what's going on with this whole mess? Uh, looks like a bit of yolk that okay. detached but got pulled out of the egg Perfect. for some reason. But yeah, they look fine. Well, how are we doing? All right, oh my gosh, okay, where do I even begin? They're scaleless, I mean, really they're pretty. scaled. Yeah, this is a really nice scaleless rat snake because there's very few actual scales. It looks like we have a thin line of scales down the back, and that is about it. How about your derpy face? Oh! We've got the cute little jewels on the front and in the back of the eyes. I always think they look like purposely placed. You know how some people put jewels like by their eyes? Oh yeah. Yeah, like for makeup. It's like these guys are wearing them permanently. Are you smelling my thumb? 
Yeah, I see you curving your tongue towards me. You're super cute. Okay, we just wanted to go through the eggs, make sure everybody hatched, which they have. Yep. And we seem to have more scaleless than scaled, just looking at the ratio here of yeah. skin to scales. I don't know. Let's see, we have one, two, what? Okay, what do we have? We have one, two. There's two that are coming towards you. Oh, hi. He's okay, reaching. come here, three. Yeah, come here, come here, babies. Come on out, come here. Oh, they're already drained, come on. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, four, five scaleless. No, you're a scaled, you stay in the bin. He's like, no, I want to be a scaleless. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine scaleless, and ten. Oh, oh, this one has a kink. Yes, there was another oh. one that I saw. That one's got a pretty oh, bad kink. Oh, this one has a lot of kinks. Right down its back. Oh. There's another one you picked up that had a kink on its oh, side. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't checked right for here. kinks yet. Oh, wow, look at, oh no. Oh, okay. Okay, so there are 10 scaled, oh, let's first, wow. 10 scaled. Two, four, five, and 10 to five? 10 to five, that's wow. a crazy ratio of yeah, scale to, weird, okay. Should have been 50-50, right? It should have been 50-50 with how this gene works, but it does look like two of our 10 scaleless have kinks. Let's take a closer look at those. All right, we wrestled them back in there. Yeah. They're just like the other ones, they just want to escape. <laughs> of course. We went, went through and kind of ran our thumb down the backs of all of the babies, and we did end up finding three babies in this clutch of 15 that have kinks uh, along their backs. So we're going to show you what that looks like. It's not something you want in babies, but take a look at that. Aww. So we have quite a big kink here, and that I feel is significant enough to prevent the baby from I mean, eating. Maybe. We, we, can, can, we can try. We can definitely try. Sometimes we have seen it before where a kink will straighten out a bit with age so i mean if this one's able to take food down maybe it'll just take smaller meals than usual but yep. might still be able to have a good quality of life oh it also has an eyeball that's facing downwards oh weird yeah the pupil isn't centered in the eye no, pupils looking down that's... how about this side that one looks that normal one, that one looks normal yeah but the pupil actually maybe it was just how it was sitting okay how about if i hold him like this does the pupil look normal now? Mm, not really. Okay, still a little messed up. Yep. Okay, so this one has some issues, and this scaled baby has a couple uh, kinks down his back too. And they're not super serious, but there's quite a few of them. Like, they run all the way down the back here. So we're gonna see how she does. She, I don't know. Uh, and then the last baby here, this, this is- This one's pretty bad. This one's pretty bad, you he's can tiny. Tell this one was runty anyway. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to have, oh, it's got some motion in the Yeah, ball, but... this one I feel feel like there is not going to be a good quality of life because that's a pretty bad kink. He's a runt. He has a big kink right here. I think this one we're going to have to cull, unfortunately, just so he doesn't suffer and starve to death. I bet that was the one with the gunk in the bottom of the egg. Oh, that could have been. Yeah. That would make sense. I'm surprised he made it out in all fairness. T yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, with three out of 15 babies having significant kinks, which thankfully none of the other babies have any kinks whatsoever, their mom, Daisy, is getting up there in age and even though she produced viable eggs we might end up retiring her after this year because of the kinks she's throwing which yeah. interestingly enough she did not throw these types of kinks in previous years yeah i think we're going to be so. retiring daisy and the other one that just and said that. Darla, Darla because she produced all those slugs, yep. which uh, the couple good eggs, if I remember correctly, those went bad anyway. Yeah. So we're gonna retire two of our three female rat corn breeders, and we'll just keep um, uh, Pixie. We'll Buck keep and Pixie. Yeah, Buck and Pixie. We're gonna hang on to because they produce good, healthy babies, like you just saw in the yep. previous rat corn baby video. Uh, but I think the other two, it's time to retire. Yeah. So. And I mean, this is what we're talking about with this one. Doesn't yeah. seem like it's very. It's not moving. It doesn't much. really want the will doesn't have the will to survive right now. Yeah. Whereas these two are actively moving. So I think possibly if we can get around that one's kink. But yeah, he the first meal it. is gonna be the big one. Yep. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, so with the sad news out of the way, we are going to take a closer look at the healthy babies, which is thankfully oh the majority gosh. of them. Get back in with your siblings. Why don't these guys like their siblings? Well, they've been crammed together for a while. Yeah, like they're ready to move out from one another. Yeah, but they should still like appreciate their siblings a little bit. Right. <laughs> still, we have so many scaleless snakes yeah, in here. Crazy. I can't believe how many there are. That is bonkers. So healthy, we have eight to four. Four, yeah, eight That's to four. Crazy. Twice as many scaleless as scales, which is possible. It's just, you know. Really, bad, really good odds. Really good odds, but in our favors, because we were hoping for the scaleless babies here. So this is actually good. Look at this baby. This one, okay, no, not you, not you. Out of the way, okay. This one starts out peach, but then he turns like blue down his body. That's crazy. That's really pretty. 
Oh, like this one's really peachy too. Oh yeah, he has a really nice colored head. And this baby's super cute. He has like a spread of scales, I guess, along his back. <laughs> like he does have some scales. He's still a scaleless, just kind of a, a lower quality scaleless yeah. is what it would be considered. But it still Maybe, looks like, cool. Really high quality. That one's not bad. That's Ooh. a single scale line. Yeah, just a little line. This one's not too bad. Oh no, never mind. He's got lots of scales. Down <laughs> I think the best one is this bluish one. On top of his cool colors, also has like no scales at all. Oh, he does not have the jewels scales along by his eyes though. Oh no. Instead What's he has he a- What's gonna do at the party? <laughs> right? Oh, he won't have any makeup no. for the party. All right, well we have some really nice babies, some nice scaled babies too. Mm -hmm. It is cool to see nice, big, healthy rat snakes. Just plain old scaled ones too. Yep. Cause these are a great starter pet, honestly. Should we set up baby bins? I guess. We are getting creative with hides for the backs of the bins because we are running very low on them right now. We are having a lot more babies hatch out this year than we were expecting. So what we're doing with some of these, and this is kind of a trick for other breeders out there, since the rack these are getting pushed into has three solid sides, the back of each bin is actually pretty dark. So if you just put something that creates a bit of a hollow uh, behind, then that will actually still kind of in a way count as a hide. We are of course still going to be buying more hides and actually I love these. I have no idea where this came from, but I absolutely love it because it's the perfect size for one of these baby bins. Look, it'll slide right in. If anyone knows where to find these, please let me know. I will buy 60 of them right now for all of all 60 bins that we have for, for this Reptile Basics uh, rack. That couldn't fit better. Right? That's what I was saying. Yeah, this is the perfect height. I don't know where it came from. There's no logo or name or anything no. on it, but we want these. I will be happy to buy these if anybody knows where to get them. Yeah, it looks like we're all set up. Yep, we're ready to go. Now all let's right. put them in into the rack and add baby snakes. We just set up those baby bins and in that time they snuck back into the little yes, handle. Did. Look at that one. Yeah. Like crawling all over Scale that on one. Scale the side. Is there one on this side? Yep. Of course. One on side too. Man, they love hanging out in the yeah. lip. Okay. They're like, we have to escape now. You're gonna fall out. Okay, there we go. Now to put them all in their baby bins. There you go, bud. Have fun. All right, and for our last two babies here, since we are going to cull the one that just is not going to thrive, we can already tell. But these two have a chance. I mean, the scaled one is the biggest baby of the clutch, and the scaleless one is moving around and acting normal, but we're gonna give it, or I'm just not really sure what that, that kink, yeah, that's a that bad big, kink. Yeah. So we're gonna try a small male, maybe just a pinky head, and if he can move that through successfully, then he might have a chance. So we're gonna give it a shot, but we're gonna keep them together in the same bin so they can be supportive of one another, encourage each other to eat. Yep. So there we go, goodbye. All right, we have Daisy and Darla here. These are the two girls that either laid duds for the second year in a row, or they produced today's babies that were that had several kinked uh, individuals. So we are deciding to retire both of these girls right now, I guess, or after this breeding season. So these two girls are now retired. So we're gonna try to find them really good pet-only homes because they're wonderful snakes. Retirement homes. Yeah, we're just gonna find good She's retirement really homes. Yeah, she is so pretty. And she had produced a lot of really nice, happy yep. babies for us in the past. Oh, we've bred them for like four or five years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite a while. And they so. were like nine-ish years old, if I remember correctly, when we got them. Yep. So they're up there-ish in age. They definitely still have a lot of life ahead of them, though. Just not breeding years. Yep. So we're going to adopt them out through our adoption program, find them really good homes, and then they will have their retirements all settled out. We are going to keep Buck and Pixie, though, the female who is still producing very healthy-looking babies babies for us. And then we'll just, I guess, have one breeding pair of rat corns. Yep. And that works. That's okay. They still produced a big clutch, just the two of them this well, year. Well, next year for Scaleless, we have Sunnyside Up, who's ready to breed. Yeah. And we have a male for her, if we I remember correctly. We have a correctly. male that nobody has met oh, yet. But we yes, we did yet. find a male for Sunnyside Up, and we have him. He's right over there. Yeah. But We're not going over there, though. Nope. You're going to have to wait until his unboxing video, which is coming out soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Say hola to these two rat corns. Thank you so much for your babies yep. over the years. You guys did a good job breeding for us. Yep. Yes, you did. Yep. Say happy retirement, Daisy exactly. and Darla. And thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers. And we'll see you next time.